wheelchairs I found my top tip coming out of the unit was to listen to the nurses and keep fidgeting and lifting yourself and never sitting still in the chair Thank you. Hi, my name is Richard Davis uh, I've been in a wheelchair for 30 years I'm a two times Paralympian and if I can give you any advice it'd be always keep pushing as hard as you can doing everything you can possible and stretching yourself as much as possible you can. I'm Mark, as a new injury, I've listened to the old patients, staff, so I advise anyone who comes in to listen to the staff, listen to old patients and you'll come a long way like I've done. My name's Phyllis. I've been coming to the orthopaedic hospital for 40 years now and I'm back in with a pressure sore at the moment. My advice to you would be to always make sure you're comfortable. If you have any problems, don't dismiss them, get advice and usually come back to the orthopaedic because they nurse you better than they'll ever nurse you anywhere else and um, don't take no for an answer when people try to fob you off don't take no for an answer you know better than anyone else what you need and um, just always make sure that you're comfortable and um, just happy in general really but it's just a, kind of, a case of Living your life is the best you can because you can always make it better. People try and think that people think that maybe your life's over when this sort of thing happens to you, but it really doesn't. I never thought I'd be going off to forty years, but I still am. So good luck to you, and uh, you uh, you make the best of your life that you possibly can. How is that, Mr. Kumar? 
It was good experience, yes, thank you. Well, did it give you a bit of an insight of what it's like for a spinal cord injury patient? Yes, it did, yes. What was the most thing that would keep with you from that experience? Um, I think being hoisted, that's the, uh, that was the, uh, a, a good experience. I think it is what uh, kind of makes me feel the difficulties or uh, kind of feeling of insecurity and being reliant on others. But uh, yes, it was a good experience. Well, thank you ever so much, Down. A little, little tiny bit of an insight into what it's like to have a spinal cord injury. Thank you. Mm -hmm.